Time to jump down the warp pipe and uncover some cool new secrets. Name's Dave with WatchMojo, and today I'm here to show you the top 10 things you didn't know you could do in Super Mario Maker 2. In case you didn't know, during the review period, I hit the top of the player's leaderboard and played more levels than any other reviewer out there. Much to Game Explained shock. And then we of course have leaderboards as well. Let's see who's leading the pack for players. Oh, Dave WM has overtaken me by a lot. He's been racing up. Sorry, John. Anyway, so I pushed this game to the absolute limits to find all the secrets I could, and now I'm here to show you what I found. By the way, if you haven't seen my review yet, ding! Number 10, make dark levels darker. Night Mode is one of the coolest new additions to Super Mario Maker 2. It doesn't just change the background of your levels, it also alters some of the mechanics. For ghost and underwater levels, it makes them pitch black with Mario, enemies and items giving off illumination. But did you know you can reduce the illumination radius? By dropping an on-off switch onto your course, if the switch is set to off, the amount of light that Mario and objects give off is reduced. This can add a greater sense of tension as the player progresses deeper into your level. Number 9. 3D Mario Moves If you haven't played either of the Mario Maker games yet, each theme replicates the movesets Mario had in their respective titles. Despite being on a 2D plane, 3D World Mario still retains his moveset from the 3D iterations. If you make Mario jump while crouching, he will perform a backflip. And when you press ZL or ZR while running, he will perform a long jump. In his Super Mario form, Mario can crawl. Or waddle, I think. It looks like a duck walk. So he can now clear one space wide gaps without needing to take a hit. Number 8. Plays Luigi, Toad, or Toadette. We may not have amiibo costumes to provide playable characters, but this time around, Mario's brought a few friends to help us test out our levels. Within the options menu, you can choose to play as either Mario, Luigi, Blue Toad, or Toadette. However, this is only available in the Course Maker and Course World. In story mode, oh, you'll have to stick with our Plumagon Builder Pal. Remember, this is Super Mario Maker 2, not Super Mushroom Kingdom Best Friends Club Maker 2. Still, it gives us hope that the game could add additional playable characters as DLC. Hashtag Waluigi. Number 7. Progressive Power Ups. Progressive power ups were a feature in the first game, but it wasn't implemented until after launch. Plus, there's still a heck of a lot of levels that aren't using these. These will allow your course to recognize which one to spawn judging from the player's condition. For example, if small Mario hits a question block, a super mushroom will appear. Although, if Super Mario hits it, a Fire Flower will appear, or whatever power up you choose. Hey, it's just like any real Mario level. It's pretty simple too. Tap any second level power up and add a Super Mushroom to turn it into a progressive power up. Number 6. Attach power ups to checkpoint. In the first Mario Maker, checkpoints automatically turned small Mario into Super Mario, even if the Maker didn't want that. This time around, the Course Maker has made it more flexible on how checkpoints affect players. You can place any power up or star onto the checkpoint, and Mario will automatically achieve that form upon hitting the flag. Or you can choose to have no power up at all. Not only does this further allow makers to make their courses more complex, like say using them to force change the player, but it helps mix up the gameplay and let players design levels centered around more than one gimmick. Number five, change the music permanently. We've seen this happen far too often. 
A different theme from Super Mario Kart, Mario 64, Sunshine or Galaxy starts playing right at the start of the level, only to revert back to the stage's default theme after moving a few steps. That's because the game will only have the theme playing so long as the tile holding the music track is on screen. If you want to keep your music playing for the duration of the stage though, simply drag the music track onto Mario in the course maker to hear it uninterrupted. You can also use the peaceful, horror or heartbeat soundtrack for the duration of your stage 2 if you want to get really creative, or use soundtracks not very well known. Number 4. Lava Covers Clear Pipes Clear pipes have made it into Super Mario Maker 2, but they aren't as flexible as Nintendo has led us to believe. Seriously, why can't they intersect? Still, they offer some potential opportunities in creating complex levels. For example, did you know that clear pipes can pass through lava in the castle theme? At first it doesn't sound like much. On the contrary, this can be fun in its own way. What if you had multiple pipes running through the lava? It's a good way to hide your pipe tracks if you don't want the players to see them, adding an extra layer of intrigue to your course. Number 3. Create Boo Bombs Here we go! Oh. Feeling a little mischievous? Well, this entry may entice you to leave a nasty surprise for players. Boo rings can be a little tricky to avoid at times, but what about when they're carpet bombing the course? Yep, you can do that. When you attach a parachute to a boo ring, you can create what's called a boo bomb. It starts off as a regular size boo, but once it hits the floor, it'll spring up into a sizable boo ring to catch players off guard. And yes, you can certainly have Lakitu's chuck as many as they can. This is one of the more ghastly surprises in Super Mario Maker 2, and we can already hear plenty of Joy-Cons being broken out of anger. Number 2. Skinny Mario Cameo The Skinny Mushroom from the first Super Mario Maker may be gone, and Skinny Mario may no longer be playable, but he's still hidden within the game. Head over to the Course Maker and drop a door into your stage. Then, repeatedly tap on the door, either with your finger in handheld mode, or the A button in dock mode, and Skinny Mario will open the door for a brief second. But, that's not all. Sometimes he'll be decked out in a power-up form depending on which game mode you're using, including some forms that don't appear in Super Mario Maker 2. Before we get to what is the most important thing to know, here are a few honourable mentions. Okay, so if you want to remove an item quickly when in Course Maker and Handheld Mode, simply take the item, swipe right, quick delete. Just like Tinder. Not quite there yet. Almost though. Just be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to the countdown. Number 1. Super Mario Maker 2 functions like a social platform. It can be a very disheartening sight. You've spent hours making an amazing course or courses, but are disgruntled to find that after many days have passed, no one has played them. That is because in order for your level to be added into the endless mode rotation, it needs to be sorted into a difficulty category, and that is arranged based on your course clear rate. That means, if you want more people to play your level, at least one other user needs to boot up your level manually and clear it. That's the key word there, clear it. They can't just play it, they have to finish it. You may get lucky and have your level appear in the new course tab, but with dozens of courses getting uploaded every second, your chances are very rare. So, if your levels aren't being played, share your course ID on social media to clear that first hurdle. So there are many ways to promote your course. You can use Twitter or Reddit. If you use the YouTube comments here, leave a detailed description about what your level is like and why people should play it. 
However, if you're struggling to make a memorable level, head on over to Mojo Plays over here, where I give you 10 tips on how to make pro levels in Super Mario Maker 2.